Hello, I'm Bob Littell, CEO of Littell Consulting Services, and I also carry the title of Chief NetWeaver. Over my 40 plus years in the financial services industry, I've worn a number of different hats. I was marketing vice president for two insurance companies, as well as I chaired several national organization boards. But today, my real passion surrounds a concept I created over a decade ago called net weaving. Net weaving is a golden rule in a pay it forward form of networking, which is how you build trusted relationships quicker than anything else ever created. In this segment, I will share tips on how women can become master net weavers by being more strategic in their net weaving to progress their business or careers. We know new business development, gaining referrals, or ascension to leadership roles within a company is primarily determined by one's ability to build and maintain trusted relationships. Women are already better relationship builders than men, so why doesn't their net weaving superiority pay off in more of a business sense? And how do we get there? The first tip is to be gender neutral in your net weaving. Many women have an easy time putting a meeting together to introduce two women to each other, or a man and a woman, but the idea of hosting a meeting to introduce two fairly well-connected, higher-level males to each other would be outside the comfort zone of many women. Yet these higher-level males have the greatest potential for advancing their careers. So how do you get started? Do your first hosting by just setting up a meeting to host two individual male friends who you know to each other. The only two qualifications are that they both should be successful at whatever it is they do, and secondly, you know them to be givers and not takers. Once you see the success of this, you can then introduce males at significantly higher levels. And don't be surprised when you ask them to pay it forward that they will find a way to help you. Second, and very important, you must follow up after the meeting. Women may be more content to put on a hosting meeting together and just enjoy the great feeling coming from having helped two people. Men tend to be more strategic in setting up such a meeting and therefore are more likely to follow up later on to check and see if something good came out of the meeting. Unless women do follow up after the meeting, they often will not get credit for having made the connection. Women who can overcome their natural reluctance to become gender neutral in their net weaving hosting activities cannot just break through the glass ceiling. They can turn it into their own corner office with major glass windows.